Okay, good morning, YouTube. We're back morning. here with Paul. Remember Paul from the cross yeah, country. country. Um, we're getting ready for stage two check. Stage two. You want to tell everyone what the stage two check is? Yeah. Stage two check consists of mostly the cross countries and the private pilot course. Getting ready for these solo cross countries. Leaving the airport all by ourselves now. Yep. So we're just running through some stuff for cutting him free. Uh, Alright, because you've been with other instructors, I don't remember if we've gone over like loss procedures for locating yourself. I actually did have Bernie the other day. Okay. Up to the kids. Alright, um, just run me through the process for it. Okay. Say so we get lost, we could use any nav aids that we might have. Say, well, we don't have a GPS, but we've got VORs, of course, sectional attack charts, and then, of course, just looking around. Okay, so how would we use, uh, we only have one VOR in this plane, Okay. but how would we kind of triangulate where we are? Well, say we had another nav radio on this aircraft, another VOR. We've got Calverton VOR right over here, and we've got Bridgeport right across the sound, and your park way back there, that wouldn't help us out as much though. But say we use Bridgeport across over there, we could tune to both those and find the radials, see what radial we're on from both, and then draw both the lines in the chart where you intersect, that's about where you are. Okay, so give me uh, Grunt's VOR. Okay. 110.85. Any I did not Morse code. I heard a radio station. All right, so let's try Hampton. Okay. Just watch your altitude. Correct. Point six. Maryland, Delaware, Virginia, and coastal waters. Moderate turbulence between flight level one eight zero and flight level four zero zero. Airnet Tango, update one, valid until one five zero zero zero. Turbulence for Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, and All right, well, I got it. Moderate okay. turbulence below one five thousand. Airnet two, it. up. Okay. Hold two into our VOR here. Let's just climb a little bit higher. Yeah. Okay. At the one one zero radial. So if we needed to, say we were lost, we could make a turn over to that to bring us to the station. Show me on the chart where the 110 is. 110 radial would be... If you're flying 110 on a compass, where are you flying about? Okay. Northeast. For the most part. Well, excuse me, southeast. The 110 would be about this direction. All right, because we're not in the clouds, you're not looking outside, do you think that's where we are? From the 110? Sounds good to me. No. Because we're north, okay. northwest of the station. Yeah, we're on, we're on two and not front. Right. Got it. That would be the okay. 290. Radio that makes more sense over here. Got it. All right, and then uh, put Calverton back in. Okay. At Calverton. Star. Out on the zero nine five radial from Calverton. Okay, so on the sectional, where would that be? Okay, Calverton would be here. Zero nine five would be this direction. So ballpark where on the sectional would you say we are? Just about over here. And looking out the window, that makes sense. Confirm that, yes. Perfect. Give me a left turn. 
Okay. We'll follow the shore back west. Okay. So now, using the, the triangulation that you just had, I know basically where we are. Yes. We don't have an emergency right now, our engine's still running, but something's not right. Um, and we want to get divert to the nearest airport. Okay. All right, look, look on the sectional. Where do you think is the nearest airport for us? Okay, well we remember. You, you can go west along the shore. Okay. Well, just on the sectional, tuning the VORs, we found out that we were about in Riverhead right over here. Yep. So, up to the northeast there, we've well, now pretty much behind us. We've got Mattituck Airport. There's also go the old Calverton Strip up there, son. We need well, Calverton's closed. Uh, okay. We have so traffic we below us. Wouldn't want to divert. To the that. right. It looks like they're doing turns around a point. Got the traffic. We'll make sure to stay clear of them. So, th think of it as we don't, we're, don't have an emergency, emergency where. But a closed airport. Yeah, so we, we want something open and preferably something with services if it's viable. Got it. So we have Mattituck and where else? Gabreski. Gabreski. About how far away are we from either of them? Okay, Mattituck, I figure probably about 15 minutes. Okay, we need to come to the request here for the radio check. Clear 2-4. Like like right? Let me just show you. A trick. Okay. The radius on a class delta is five. Okay. If you look, if you put your thumb on the sectional, okay. From the center of the airport to the outside of the ring, it pretty much fits in there, right? Yeah. So it's literally a rule of thumb that your thumbprint is about five miles. So you're putting us right up here. We're probably six, seven miles away, and we're about equidistant to. So, the next thing that we look at for a diversion is we have our. Oh, loud and clear. We're about. Two more, sir, yes. We're about seven miles away. Confirm that, bud. We're, oh, we're doing a hundred knots, so we're all doing almost two miles a minute, right? Yes. So we're talking about three minutes, five minutes, just to add, add a little safety margin. Okay, that's better. To get to either of them. Got it. So, we know Gabreski is a class D, there's a controller that we can talk to. If something's going wrong as we're trying to get there, they could roll emergency equipment if needed. Of course. Um, and they have services that someone can check our airplane. Well, so that would be lacking in both those. Right, but if we really just needed okay. to get on the ground, no, the to the and we're going to, going to wherever is closest. Oh, okay. Okay. But we're looking at it five minutes, right? Okay. And how much fuel do we burn an hour? Six gallons an hour. Six gallons an hour, so five minutes. We we don't even need a gallon, right? Exactly. How much fuel do we have? That much. <laughs> we have we have more than enough. We have exactly. about twenty gallons of fuel. So we know the distance, the direction that we're gonna head to. So make a turn toward Gabreski. Okay. We know it's about seven miles, it's gonna take us about five minutes, and we have fuel to make it. Correct. So we make our turn in the direction. Okay, traffic says You would dial in Gabreski, and okay. when you can get in, we're about seven miles okay, out, so you'd probably wanna raise them now, we're not gonna to go to them now, but you would wanna raise them, let them know that we're inbound, um, let them know that uh, it's not an emergency, but we would want priority getting in. Okay. Uh, because something's not working right. Got it. So, key things in diversion, your location, figuring out the distance to the airports, okay. figuring out the time to get there, and if you have the fuel to make it. Okay. All right, we can head back to Brookhaven.